Outside the German parliament, some 150,000 protesters formed what they called a firewall against right-wing extremism Saturday. The target of their anger, the Alternative for Germany Party, or AFD. Among the protesters were senior German politicians. The AFD will never gain power in this country. We will all take a clear stand against it. Nationwide protests have been held every weekend since mid-January, when the website Corrective revealed that AFD politicians had discussed the forcible transfer of migrants out of the country, even those with German citizenship, at a secret November meeting in Potsdam outside Berlin. Neo-Nazis, donors and AFD politicians spoke very specifically about the realization of the expulsion of millions of people from Germany. And this is a situation in which the AFD has a real option to gain power. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has welcomed the protests. There is something in Germany which must never ever find a place again. It is the national race ideology of the Nazis. The repulsive relocation plans by these extremists is just that. AFD co-leader Alice Weidel called the report a left-wing campaign. The real enemies of the Constitution are those who call for a ban on parties. Germany's painful history under Adolf Hitler and the Nazis makes the country acutely sensitive to right-wing extremism. There are growing calls to ban the AFD. The forced transfer of people to other places sounds very familiar in a German context. And frankly, Germany cannot afford that. But in this case, uh, the Article 21 of the German Constitution says that anything that will undermine uh, or challenge the, the German um, democratic order uh, is unconstitutional. There is then a process whereby the Ministry of the Interior will um, refer a particular party to, uh, to the Supreme Court. That would be a highly controversial step against the AFD, a party polling in second place at around 20%, with European and German state elections scheduled later this year. The political temperature is rising. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News.